there is a given part and there is a received part and both will be recorded right so this accounting system is called double entry system so up till now we have just finished the accounting equation and now let's move towards the system of accounting which is we make entries and then we post them let's talk about one by one so a t account so a t account so every account for example this is a land account of the asset so we write it down land here accounting name here and this is a t right so on t right hand side is called debit left hand side is called credit remember this one left hand uh, left side is called debit right side is called credit right so what is t account it record increase and decrease of asset liability and equity revenue and expenses in a fashion of debit and credit right remember debit and credit doesn't mean that plus or minus doesn't mean that increase or decrease debit means left side credit means right side are we clear many students they confuse that okay debit mean uh, plus or can credit mean negative and then they confuse with the transaction uh, you know some transaction it really fits with this kind of logic plus and minus but some others when other transaction come then the, this logic fails so i'm not going to give you a shortcut so i'm going to give you a real concept that is debit and credit is not plus and minus it's not increase or decrease debit and credit is the side of the account in t format right let's talk about this but here are the rules and rules are before going deep into that one here we go we have this asset is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity equation so remember if a transaction increases the asset plus mean increase it mean debit if a transaction decreases let me i think it's better if i remove the word plus and negative that would be okay then. so if a transaction decreases the asset then it is credit so if a transaction increases the asset it is recorded on the debit side if a transaction decreases the asset it is recorded on a credit side right so now on the other side of the equation it is opposite if a transaction increases the liability it is credit if it decreases the liability it is debit similarly with this owner's equity if a transaction increases the owner's equity it is credit if it decreases the owner equity it is debit so name any transaction or any account for example cash let me first remove all this and then we start remove all there we go so now cash if there is increase in cash it means asset asset increase debit decrease in cash means decrease in asset it's credit 
Similarly, in increase in accounts receivable, Jordan, credit or debit, Jordan, can you hear me? Agent, David. Yes, I can hear you. The answer, can I answer? Okay. So my question was, if account receivable increase, mm -hmm. account receivable is asset, asset increase, debit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So equipment increase, you purchase equipment, equipment increase, right? Equipment increase mean? Uh, uh, how to credit? Debit. Why? Because asset. Equipment is asset. Oh, okay. So increase in asset always debit. And the debit. short form of debit is dr, dr and dot. Right? And decrease in asset. Credit the short form is CR dot, right? So these are the rules that we are right now deducing. Similarly, with the liabilities and honors equity. So name the account, for example, account payable, common stock, dividend, right? Revenue, expenses, loan from the bank, right? So, now tell me, if loan increase, increase in loan, we apply for loan? Credit. Yes, because loan belongs to liability. Liability increase, credit. Mm -hmm. We paid the amount on credit. Account stable decrease. Decrease in liability. I think credit, right? It's debit. Debit, debit, okay. So right now you are a little bit confused. Right? So that's why I'm 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 stressing here. That's why I gave you 15 minutes break so that you are more relaxed. Here we go again. So here. You issued shares, you know, the business issued shares, right? So common stock increase and common stock belongs to honors equity. Honors equity increase mean credit, right? You buy back shares, buy back shares. It means you decrease the common stock. Common stock belongs to owner's equity. Decrease in owner's equity. Sorry, debit. Right? Yeah. Dividend. You declare dividend. Dividend increase. Increase in dividend means dividend. Asian credit. It's credit. Did you did you say Sepida? Yeah. I thought you said dividend. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh credit, I think. No, because dividend decreases the honors equity. The, uh, right? Remember our retained earnings formula? Net income, opening retained earning plus net income minus dividend because dividend decreases the owner's equity because it decreases the retained earning and decrease in retained earning means decrease in owner equity. So remember, dividend increase means decrease in owner equity, which means debit. And dividend decrease 
Dividend decrease mean increase in return earning, which means increase in honor equity, which means credit. So you need to pay close attention to what I'm saying right now. Again, assets is equal to liabilities plus honor's equity. And what when we make the rules of accounting, it states that increase in asset means debit. Degrees in asset mean credit, while liabilities and honors equity increase in both credit. Degrees mean debit, like no. Right. And now let's move towards our rules here. See. If asset increase, it's debit. Debit means the left side of the account. Decrease in asset means credit, which means the right side of asset account. If liabilities increase, it means credit, which is the right side of asset account. Decrease in liability, which means the left hand side of liability account debit similar with the stock account right stockholders equity account let's move forward so here to illustrate credit auto service incorporation received 50000 and issued stock so can you tell me which two accounts are used here Cash and common stock, right? So we make the account. Here is the cash. Here is the common stock. So we know that left hand side debit, right hand side credit, left hand side debit, right hand side, right -hand side credit. Now, where we record this 50,000? The so cash, we received, the business received the cash, cash increase, cash increase, debit. asset increase, right? And asset yes. increase means debit. So we would write 50,000 on the left side of cash, which is debit. And our common stock increase, right? Increase yes. in stock is increase in credit, honors equity, which means credit. So you understand? Yeah, I think I do now. See? So now equation is balanced. Right? Yes, I got it. Now, credit's second transaction is 40,000 cash 